Hummingbirds are fascinating to watch, so I decided to take my little camera, attach it to the pole, just to see what type of images I could get. So after watching them for a few days, I figured out that they showed up on average about every half hour to get a little snack. This one had a good look at my camera lens to see what it was all about. You were probably just wondering, what was that? Well, it was a couple of ants fighting, climbing over the lens of my camera, trying to get to the feeder. Did you notice what was going on in that last clip? Have a look here. You'll notice that around the beak of the hummingbird, there's remnants of a cobweb. And he struggles and he tries to get his back feet up and he tries to get it off. Right here you can clearly see it in the sun. He makes another attempt to get it off here. And then he tries one more time right here. Then he flies up one more time and sticks his tongue out just to get a taste of the air. And then he says, that's it. I can't get rid of this. And he takes off. If you have a hummingbird feeder and you have ants getting to it, hummingbirds do not like ants and they will stay away. In one of my upcoming videos, I'll show you how easy it is to make an ant guard for your hummingbird feeder. You can clearly see that this hummingbird had the same issue as the other one with a bit of cobweb stuck on its beak. Did you hear that little chirp? That's the sound that a hummingbird makes. Let me play it again. And there's a beautiful red cardinal checking things out. So if you want to get the same feeder that I used in this video, I'll have it linked in the description below. So it's fairly easy to take apart. It's got this piece in the top, they call it an ant moat. It keeps the ants from getting to the feeder. And then this piece is glass. 
then these pieces right here they just pop off so you can clean it out easily in the sink and then they just pop in and slide back together and here's a simple recipe to fill it just take four cups of water one cup of plain white sugar bring it to a boil and let it cool and then put it in a jar label it and keep it in the fridge and when you're ready to fill it it's best to do it in the sink to keep the mess down fill it up about a quarter to half spin the top on but don't flip it over until you get outside here's the ant mode and when you see the liquid inside start to turn cloudy it's time to dump it well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe and hit the dinger to get notifications and we'll see you next time